What is up guys, it is your boy, we messy 11 and today I have a man of the match, Brian Day player review. Now let's be honest with you, he is going to be one of the cheapest man of the matches uh, because he is such a low rated, he is 78 rated gold so he will be packed quite a lot in this 24 hours that he is released and as you see he is already 130,000 coins and currently he is even less than that. I think he's going for around 80,000 coins at the time of recording this video. So, you know, he's going to be cheap. Now, fair enough, man of the match, Boney, he is quite cheap as well. But, you know, he's only 78 rated. And I was, you could feel that, because I was really, really disappointed with this guy. 85 finishing on him. Now, it's a lot worse than that. Now, I played with his normal card in my, in one of my non-rare BPL teams a few weeks ago. And he was 10 times better. His normal was 10 times better. His shooting was the same. Now, to be honest, his shot felt worse on his inform card on his man of the match because don't know why but his finishing seemed a lot poor poor but I noticed his heading was 10 times better on this card and that was probably one of the main positives with this guy along with his pace because his pace and his heading was pretty good however normal shots shot par his shot par was, was, was average like it was at times you could feel it was, his shots were really, really powerful, but then there's other times that he trickle along the ground and not even trouble the goalkeeper. Another thing I like about this guy, his dribbling. His dribbling on pace is fantastic, and that's probably one of the key things along with his heading. Other than his passing, or his, sorry, his pace, and his heading, he's fairly average. His pace is dribbling and his pass. Ugh. His pace is dribbling and his heading is his three best attributes. And if I'm being honest with you, that is it. His passing is crap. His passing is horrible. He can't even pass the ball five or six yards. He struggles to do that. His finishing is very poor for 85. His strength. It is quite strong and he does outstrength quite a lot of players. That's what I was surprised about this guy also. Because his normal card didn't really outstrength that many cards. But, you know, his weak foot. His weak foot is actually better than his strong foot. I don't know why, but I found that I scored more goals with his weak foot rather than his strong foot. That's quite an interesting fact, but and another thing which really, really turns him away from most strikers, uh, from most people who try to buy him. He has two star skills. Two star skills restricts you to do limited skill moves. You can only do the likes of the the ball roll or the the fake shot with that amount of skill moves. So if you like doing roulettes past your strike defenders, like I, I love doing roulettes past my defenders because it's such an easy skill move to execute and it is very, very effective. So that's probably why I would not pick him up because you know, he's not worth the coins. If I'm being honest with you, you would be better just getting his normal card. Fair enough, he may be a lot cheaper than 130k. And I wasn't playing the best at FIFA tonight. That may be a slight. But I really don't think he would be playing any better than what the way I was playing. I'd give him a 7.5 out of 10. Good pace, good dribbling and good heading but apart from that poor skill moves poor shot finishing everything hope you enjoyed this video leave a like comment and subscribe peace